Hey Virgos and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your daily love reading for the 3rd of February 2019. This will not resonate with everybody. So uh, take what fits, leave what don't. All right, so your first card out is the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, followed by the Devil in reverse and the Seven of Wands in reverse. The person that you are dealing with Whoa, is the sun in reverse? I just dropped a bunch of cards. Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay. The king of swords in reverse and the hermit. Your guys' outcome for the day is the queen of rods. Clarified by the Six of Swords in Reverse and Temperance in Reverse. Your shared energy and overall um, <clears throat> theme of the reading is the Four of Pentacles in Reverse. Clarified by the World and the Ace of Rods, both in Reverse. So we'll start with your guys' uh, shared energy. You uh, were holding back from somebody holding off on telling uh, somebody your true feelings, your real emotions, um, keeping them to yourself, keeping that wall high. You're now letting that down. You are opening up and um, telling somebody how you really feel, um, no longer being stingy with your time, your, your thoughts, your feelings. Um, this has to do with closing out one cycle and having a new beginning with somebody else. Um, you were blocked emotionally. You were not um, voicing how you truly felt for a go, or this can be your person. Um, somebody was not voicing how they truly felt because they were scared to end one cycle and begin another. Um, but you are going to open up and tell this person, these people, the, this person, however it fits, how you truly feel or they are to you, Virgo. So um, you are moving forward, but you're moving very slowly, very methodically, trying to figure out um, what steps need to be taken in order for you to, to be with the person you want to be with, as well as to be the person you want to be. You could be battling some addictions. Um, you could have recently gotten help for some addictions, uh, or this is just obsessive thoughts, thinking, overthinking, and overthinking some more. Um, you are getting out of that. You're moving away from that energy. Um, and you're no longer being so defensive about who you love, who you want, what you want. Um, you could have been very uh, quick to uh, jump the gun when somebody would ask you about how you felt, where, what you're doing. Um, you also don't feel like you're alone in this battle anymore. Who was that? I think Sagittarius had that card in that same position. You might be connected to a Sagittarius, but you're realizing that you're not alone in this fight. You're not alone in this world. There is somebody who is here for you. Um, and the energy could be vice versa. That could be the person you are dealing with. But the person um, you are dealing with uh, is the sun in reverse. So they are being illuminated. Things are being illuminated in their path. They are being shown things um, that they need to know in order to move forward. Um, this is also, you know, energy that is faded from the universe. They're not taking these steps, however, to, they're not taking any action. They're just allowing these things that they are finding out to uh, just remain within themselves. They're not moving forward. They're not taking action, but they are going to go within. They're not quick to take action just yet because they don't quite know what they want to do. They don't quite know what direction to move in. And they're hoping that they will find um, some clarity when they go within, when they look um, somewhere else besides the outside world for answers, because that hasn't um, helped them very much. Virgo, this could be your bottom row too, with the hermit being in here in the upright. This could be your bottom row of energy. Even though you know the path that you're supposed to be taking, you're not taking any action um, because you're just uh, spending some time within yourself right now. 
And if that's the case, the person that you're dealing with, they are waiting for you to come forward, um, but they're no longer obsessing over the uh, relationship coming back together, and they're no longer um, fighting as hard as what they once were for this connection. Your guys' outcome for the day is the Queen of Rods. So somebody who's very passionate, who takes action, who moves forward, who follows their heart and thinks, you know, they they act on their feelings and think later. Um, but this person is very passionate, very loving, very, um, people are drawn to this person. Um, I do feel you're moving towards this person, Virgo. Um, but first you have to move away from a situation uh, that has been pretty rough on you. A lot of emotional um, heartache has gone into moving forward for you. And that's why you are just no longer, uh, or that's why you're no longer, that is why you have not moved forward yet. That's why you're just sitting there not taking action um, with the King of Swords. Because walking away from this situation that you're currently in is very hard for you. Even though you know you need to, even though you want to, it's still been very hard. Um, and you need to find some balance in your life. With Temperance here in reverse, I do feel you're dealing with a Twin Flame soulmate connection um, with the Sun and Temperance here. But you need to find balance in your life again. You need to find um, your own sense of uh, self-esteem. You need to you need to embody this Queen of Wands energy. Um, you need to have self-confidence, self-love, and know that you deserve uh, better than where you're coming from. You always have to give up something in order to get something better. All right. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, with the Queen of Rods and the King of Pentacles, you could be, um, if you are a uh, Virgo male, you could be connecting with a fire sign female. Um, but if you are a female Virgo, you, uh, as we know, energies are, we all have male and female in us. We are the yin and yang. We all have male and female energy. So whoever your counterpart is, um, one of you is very passionate, very um move forward without planning and the other one is all about having to have the steps to get to your goal the two of you are going to work on this together um you both wish for each other you both want to be together but it's hard for you to leave something behind virgo and uh but the two of you you're still wishing upon the same star you still want to end up in the same spot but you have to move away from something or someone that um, has kept you stuck. The This person, or you could be dealing, Virgo, with somebody who is very manipulative and trying to keep you in their space and not let you move forward with somebody else. Um, that could be a possibility as well. But um, the two of you are, if you are in separation from somebody, the two of you are hoping for the same outcome to be together. Um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius here pretty heavy with the Temperance and the Queen of Rods in your outcome. But um, most importantly, you're coming to a crossroads. It's time to go within Virgo. It's time to go in and find that inner light and follow it. Because you are at a crossroads where you're going to manifest whichever path it is that you want. So make sure you are finding balance and peace within yourself. Um, follow your heart. Allow your emotions to... Um, to, you know, balance out and, and pick the path that, that leads you to passion. Pick the path that you're most passionate about. Pick the path that is going to lead you to balance and love and eternal love and to your twin flame soulmate connection that, um, you are in separation from at the moment. Because once you allow this, remember our, your overall energy, you have the four of pentacles coming out of letting this wall down. Because you have to end one major life cycle in order to get a new beginning. Um, so you have to pick a path. You have to let one person go so you can move forward with the other. And so you can come into union with your twin flame or soulmate. Whether that be the person you are with or separated from, you have to pick a path um, for the two of you to move forward on. <laughs> What did I say? You're going to find your self-love. You're going to find, you have to embody this Queen of Wands, your self-esteem, your self-love, because you deserve love. This card to me is always a Sagittarius card, 
because it has the archer with the um, with a bow and arrow there. You deserve love. Shoot your arrow and follow it because you are coming into a reconciliation with somebody from your past returning to your life. So in order to have this new beginning with that reconciliation, you have to allow this major life cycle to end, Virgos. All right, that's what I got for you today. Make sure you comment below if you'd rather, if you like it better this way, where I do each zodiac instead of by element. Um, so I know whether to keep doing it this way or go back to the old way. So, all right, Virgos, I send you love, light, and God bless.